Welcome, to the Corp Vault channel, in this video we will discuss, Convault Disk Library Maintenance. Please, like, share, comment or suggest. Subscribe for more videos, and, you can follow us on Instagram. If your disk library performance is dipping, then to keep the disk library healthy, and faster, Convault recommend performing, disk library maintenance under certain conditions, which we will discuss in this video. To run disk library maintenance. Expand storage resources. Expand libraries. Select the disk library on which you wish to run disk maintenance. Right click on the disk library. Select, disk library maintenance. Under the disk library maintenance window. You see device name, mount path name. Size of the mount path, date of the last fragmentation analysis run, last analyzed fragmentation percentage, analysis. Let's browse to the mount path to verify the contents. We see the mount path, is a mounted LUN. Under this LUN, we have CV magnetic folder. Here are the directories under which the actual data resides. If you notice, this window talks about fragmentation analysis, but nothing about the defragmentation. Which means, fragmentation levels in the disk mount paths, can be analyzed using the disk library maintenance. And the fragmentation statistics are reported, in the library and drive report, which we will discuss in the later part of the video. Based on the file fragmentation statistics reported. Convault suggests using the appropriate tools, to defragment the disk library. Please go through the notes, which we captured from the documentation portal. Especially where it says, disk library maintenance, does not support network paths, in other words, UNC paths. And, media agents using, fiber channel, and internet SCSI transport modes. Before we proceed let's discuss a bit about, disks fragmentation, and defragmentation. We store data on the hard disk drives. What does the hard drive made of? A hard drive consists of, several major components inside its casing. Among those components, we majorly look at the platter for storing data. A spindle for spinning platters. A read-write arm, for reading and writing data. The spindle rotates the platters as needed, and holds them in position. The RPM of the spindle determine, how fast data is written, and read. In order to use the disk, you need to format it, with NTFS, or FAT, etc. After format, the hard disk is divided into, tracks, sectors, and clusters, under which the data is organized. How fragmentation occurs. Disk fragmentation occurs, when a file is broken up into pieces to fit on the disk. Because files are constantly being written, deleted and resized, fragmentation is a natural occurrence. When a file is spread out over several locations, it takes longer to read and write. A fragmented disk looks like this. Data is scattered over file clusters. Let's take a simple fragmented disk, for easy understanding. What are the effects of fragmentation on the performance? File fragmentation, directly affects the access and write speed of that disk, steadily corrupting computer performance, to unviable levels. Some of the problems caused by fragmentation include, server performance degradations, slow backup times, even failing to complete in their backup window. Unnecessary IO activity, on database servers, or slow queries. Increase in the time, for each IO operation or generation of unnecessary I.O. activity. Slow down in read and write for files, etc. What is defragmentation? Defragmentation, is the process of reorganizing the data, stored on the hard drive, so that related pieces of data are put back together, all lined up in a continuous fashion. You could say, it picks up all of the pieces of data, that are spread across your hard drive and puts them back together again. There are several third-party tools which can be used, 
to defragment the disk. Or, you can use Microsoft Disk Defragmenter. For this video we will be using Microsoft Disk Defragmenter, to optimize the disk. Before we proceed with the Comvault Defragmentation Analysis. Let's use Microsoft Defragmenter to analyze the disk. Open command prompt in admin mode. Run defrag help command. This is the tool description. Syntax for use. Parameters that can be used. We use parameter A, along with, U, to check progress. And, V, for verbose output. The final command would look like this. Here is the detailed output of the command. Total fragmented space is zero. Fragmented files are only six. Pay attention to the notes. In summary, Microsoft Defragmenter says. This volume does not need defragmentation. Let's check defrag analysis for drive C. If you notice, the total fragmented space is 25%. Fragmented files are above 6000. As per the earlier explanation about fragmentation, Microsoft Defrag says, this volume, does, need defragmentation. So far, the analysis is done using Microsoft, which has its own settings, or values in analyzing the fragment levels. Let's check what Comvault suggests. In Comvault, before you analyze the fragmentation levels, Comvault suggests setting the appropriate fragmentation margin, using couple of parameters in the media management configuration. Click on Home menu. Select Control Panel. In Control Panel, under Storage, select Media Management. Management Configuration Window. Service Configuration tab. Scroll down to look for per file fragmentation threshold. It specifies the number of fragments per file, that is, fragmentation limit per file, beyond which the file is considered fragmented. The default value is 10, but you can change it, as desired. Mount path fragmentation threshold percentage. Specifies the fragmentation threshold percentage, for the mount path. If the threshold exceeds this percentage, then the library maintenance required, alert is triggered. If configured, the default value is 100, but you can change it, as desired. Ensure you verify the values changed after edit, so they get applied. Once all done, click OK. Let's go ahead and revert the changes made, so we proceed with default settings, or values. Let's discuss, how is disk fragmentation calculated, for disk libraries? Following information, we gathered from the documentation website. For all files in a mount path, Comvault uses the formula, to determine the fragmentation percentage. The formula is, total number of excess fragmentations, divided by, total number of allowed, fragmentations, and the output multiplied by 100. The settings and values, we just discussed. So, within the 2 gigabytes chunks of a mount path, if the number of fragments is greater than 10, then the file is considered to be a fragment and the excess fragment is counted. Let's take an example of a mount path, with 5 chunks, assuming a block size of 4096k as block content, below 4k block size means, it has no fragments. The calculation is done in this way. As discussed before, you can increase, or decrease, the file fragmentation threshold, to control the fragmentation percentage watermark. Let's continue with our Comvault fragmentation analysis. To proceed with the fragmentation analysis, enable analysis. Click OK to start the job. 
Disk library maintenance job is seen in the job controller. The job completed. Double click on the job to open the job details. Click view events to check the job events. Disk library maintenance analysis operation has completed. If the job is not visible in the job controller, then you can run a report and check. Click Reports menu. Select Job Summary. Select Job Summary, Comcell Console. General tab. Select Administrative Jobs. From the list, select Disk Library Maintenance. Selection tab. Select the options as necessary. Options tab. Leave default or choose as necessary. Time range tab. Again, leave default or choose as necessary. Output tab. We leave it as HTML. Click run. You see the report request has been submitted and a job ID has been assigned. The report looks like this. At the moment we do not have a scenario where disk library needs defragmentation. We will try creating the scenario on existing library on mounted volume or create a new disk library with fixed drive and try creating a scenario of fragmentation and come back. We did our best and tried to create fragmentation scenario. Let's check. In the command prompt, let's rerun the Microsoft defrag analysis for mounted mount path on which disk library is hosted. If you see the total fragmentation space is 34%. Fragmented files are over 250. Microsoft defragment analysis says that this volume is recommended for defragmentation. Let's run convolt fragmentation analysis for this volume. If you have noticed, we see a day, date, and time the last fragmentation analysis run, which we did a while ago. If you miss to enable analysis, you receive this error prompted. Click OK to start the maintenance job. Disk library maintenance job is seen in the job controller. The job has completed successfully. For this video, we have created a new disk library, and the mount path is hosted on a dedicated drive. Let's run disk library maintenance for it as well. The mount path is assigned with drive letter H. In the meantime let's check job logs for already completed disk maintenance job. Right click on the job. Select view logs. Select for the job. Log file for job ID. Select view all to view all the logs in one page rather going to each page to review them. This is the analysis output by the disk maintenance analysis job. Threshold set in the media management configuration. Scanned files. Number of files defragmented. Number of files flagged for defragmentation. Number of files skipped for analysis by the job. The other disk maintenance analysis job completed. Let's review the job logs for it as well. For this volume the fragmentation analysis is different compared to the other. Let's run Convolt report and check for the analysis. In the report selection, under storage, select library and drive report. General tab. Instead of include all libraries, Let's select both the disk libraries manually. Once done, click Run. You see the report request has been submitted, and a job ID has been assigned. The report looks like this. Here you see the file fragmentation analysis. The file fragmentation analysis is seen for both the disk libraries mount paths. Let's defragment the volumes using Microsoft Optimize Drives tool.
Convolt suggests, we can use either, Microsoft Defragment and Optimize Drives tool. Or, any other third-party trusted tool. As per them, Disk Keeper, which is now called as Dimaxio, has certified its 2011, and higher release version, for online volume defragmentation. We will use, Microsoft Defragment and Optimize Drives tool, for this video. Before you proceed with defragmentation, ensure the disk library is under maintenance, in Convolt console. And no backup is running, waiting, suspended, or queued, for this disk library. Launch Microsoft Defragment and Optimize Drives tool. Open command prompt. Run defrag help command to check the parameters that we can use for defragmentation. We will use parameter D, which is default traditional defragmentation, along with U to check progress and V for verbose output. If you have noticed, drive C is 25% fragmented. Mounted Learner 1 is 34% fragmented. Drive H is 12% fragmented. We will optimize one volume using the tool and other using command line. Select Learner 1 and click Optimize. There are several pass phase it goes through before the disk is optimized. The pass phase is mainly contain defragmentation, and, free space consolidation. Defragmentation completed for mounted mount path. Let's run defrag for fixed drive mount path from command line. This is how the final command looks like. You can see the progress from the tool as well. Both the volumes are successfully defragmented. We will end this video here. Stay tuned for more videos by subscribing to our channel. If not already done so, do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.